Backwards Legacy, this is Jim. We are back here again today. And as you can tell, I am in Lower Hogsfield. Pretty nice little uh, place. And we're going to take a look at a quest today. This one right here, The Lost Child. Nettie has learned of a wizard in Lower Hogsfield who is being harassed by Therophilus Harrow, Rockwood's right hand man. I should meet her there to investigate. Meet Natty in Lower Hogsfield. It's just at level 16, and of course we're past our level 25. So let's take a look at it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I really yeah. Pleased to be oh, okay. Here. Yeah, right on. <laughs> uh. You're here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Start the quest, the lost child. Where are you, Archie? Huh. Speak with Mrs. Brickle. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I'm sure your son is fine. You don't suppose Harlow took him? I don't mean to be grim, but... Could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. I'll find your son. What can you tell me about Harlow? Why would Harlow have killed your husband? What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... <laughs> he was convinced that... <laughs> Can you tell me about Harlow? Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. All right, we'll uh, find your we'll son. Find Do your our son, best. Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. What will I do? <laughs> All right. Find Archie's hideout. Let's check the map here, real quick. All right, it's not that far. Let's go ahead and take Mr. Broomstick here. Oh, can't can't fly right now. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Ha, huh, Your friend hear ya. Owen could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. Revelio. Lumos.
This must be where the Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Revelio. For a fight. Can bring up the fender. She didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hallo, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Hallo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio. in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. Lumos. Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Don't go down easy. Unlikely. Oh. Well, what was that sound? 
what they deserved. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Yeah. 
Revelio. They got what they deserved. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Revel, your mother sent us to find you. I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open.
Aloha Mora. So sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. You wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Just like that. <laughs> Where the little fella go? Oh, he's probably already in there. <laughs> Up here. There we go. Oh, Archie, you're here. <laughs> oh, you're safe, Mother. Oh, Mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. All right. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. Understood. He's already after us, it yeah. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickham. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friend. Quest complete, the lost husband. child. Nice. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Yeah, see you later, Natty. Have a good one. Oh. Rebellion. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's uh let's try to get inside this house here. <laughs> let's talk about that for a while. What do we have here? A demi guys. Revelio. Alright, right there. Let's uh let's go to let's go to sleep here. And uh pick that uh dimmy guys up. Yes. Day to night, baby. Nice. Another one of these bad boys. Perfect. Thank you again for finding my dear Archie. Yeah, no worries. Is this house here is what I was talking about? Though with the lock on it. Aloha, Mora. Oh. Just like that. Oh yeah. Hopefully, no one's in here. Big chest. Take it. Sell that off. What else we got in here? Of interest. Got a little money pile here. And I think that's it. Yeah, it is. Oh, another chest right here. I walked right by it. Alright. Huh. 
Nice. Revelio. I didn't got all these at one time. Are they inside that house? Just inside that house, my buddy. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> it's you. Thank you again for saving me. Yeah, no worries. I'll never forget you. Rebellion. Good for that sack. Outside. There's no upstairs. Oh, back there. Don't mind me. Just uh, gonna take that five coin off your hands. <laughs> uh. Right there, kind of hidden. All right, cool. Let's check uh, the rocks field out for a second. All right, three for three collection chests, one for one demiguy statues, perfect. So Laura Hogsfield is pretty much complete within the odd maybe quest that'll show up here. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, give it a quick save here. All right, let's see. Oh. It should be fine. All right. Now, let's see what else we've got here for quests. we got a little bit of time left. In the shadow and the study, Sebastian wants to meet me outside the Slytherin common room to talk about... Talk to me about Slytherin's Scriptorium. Jeez. Alright, so let's give that a quick one. Go to the map. See where he's at. Looks like he's in uh, Hogwarts. Castle. Alright, let's uh Alright, let's fast travel here. There make way over there to Sebastian. He has to say. That one there was a little quicker. The lost child that was a little quicker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's alright. Take we'll uh take those ones too, you know. Maps a little on the trippy side there. See that? Jeez. I tail it here. If you remember, we did a video when we were exploring this area. Treasure chest in there. You're here. Hey. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. what? Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know <coughs> where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. S sounds good, buddy. He's this way. In the shadow of the study. After you, bud. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching, although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. There he is. 
We were Very true. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. <laughs> Do you have a moment? Ominous. What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Uh, All right. We don't regret this. Sebastian. Open okay. Slytherin's door. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. Couldn't bring up. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to do. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark All right. Corridors. My favorite. No comment. <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. Natura guns note one to five. I must prove my point. Do not need to use the. Dark arts, as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I've written to my brother. He now knows I have access to corridor's entrance, entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead. We can study our ancestors' legacy together. Tura Gunt. Interesting. Journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. Ravenia. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? <laughs> Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges. Ah. Uh... Rivera. Why us? This could be dangerous. Not to talk, you might be a level formed and release you vanish. A person facing a snake. Revelio. 
must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient, Revelio. sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. Huh. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm Do hoping it. you're having second thoughts. Nope. None at all. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous. Nice. You possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. <laughs> Between the two of us, I... Never mind. There's Rebellion. no way forward. Like a maze. Salazar left life on what this to be difficult to solve. Rebellion. Where we came from, it closed, and there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Accio. Confringo. Lumos. Brazier. When the door closed, Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. Rebellion. The dial requires focus. Art not always said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. Salazar Slytherin has buried this scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I have a descendant. I yet I feel unwelcome. Lighten these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Torah Gaunt. Hmm. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Perhaps the symbols on another gate will match this dial.
dire, isn't it? You sound surprised. Be it in a maze, designed by Salazar Slytherin. Lumos. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. Lumos. But you got to it first. <laughs> nice work. Incendium. I failed the dial. It has struck my face. It's effort. Or a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. I should not require children to confirm the old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there is more to our legacy than meets the eye of Tura Gunt. Hmm. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Lumos. Lumos. Another, not the welcoming sword, was it? more difficult but we've made it this far don't give up That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Lumos. Extraordinary, this journey is painful, but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptory and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder, Salazar Slytherin, intended more than what we've become. I know it, Nocturra Gunt. Not your reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's Revelio win. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which Lumos. leads where.
Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place. Rebellion. Troubling. For my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Lumos. The gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Revelio. Wow. <laughs> Nas hope. Locked in. I heard a scream and saw the torturing faces. Then the way forward is with the unforgivable curse. Even if I want to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. My last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted. Parted. Jeez. <laughs> I wish we had parted on better terms. Terror account. <laughs> Reading is hard. <laughs> Ominous. Uh. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. A Cruciatus curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Very well. I don't want to learn the Christus spell. Christus, ah, jeez. Christus curse. <laughs> I want to learn the Christus curse, but you must cast it on me. Teach me 
the crutches is cursed. <laughs> I'll cast it on you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, teach me, man. I want to learn the curse, and I yeah. think it's best if I cast it on you. Very yeah. well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly oh declare God. Crucio. Brutal. Hold on as long as you can. Brutal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crucio. That's better. Ready? I'm ready. Wow. How about that? To make it stop. <laughs> but I'll survive. <sighs> Let's keep moving. We made it. Revelio, we found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. <sighs> I can't believe we're here. Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. A secret and well protected room beneath Hogwarts, where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long term plans. With respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Huh. Rebellion. Nice. What do we got here? Sebastian. Oh so th Wow. So the there's a spellbook. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I wander around a bit. Huh. Let's check out this chest here. Nice place. Revelio. Another good sized chest. Sweet. Pick up. Oh wow. <clears throat> I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, but he understood why the Caliburn student needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put to voice. A tire of the Discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I know, now know, I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. The Senate willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wronged. One who should, who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to the stain of my legacy. Oh wow, pretty deep. Revelio. All right, let's get the book to Sebastian. <laughs> what do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. <laughs> Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. I already did. <laughs> it's breathtaking. Revelio. Leave the scriptorium. I don't want to leave. 
But I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. How's that? We, we could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Huh. Secret passageway, I guess. I bought that. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Uh oh. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> uh. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Quest complete, the shadow of the study. Nice. 180 XP. Pretty cool. Another one down. Let's see what's next here. All right, so we got a main quest next. Save that for another episode. That's pretty cool. Two big uh, side quests there. Pretty, pretty interesting. Got this uh, Crucio, unforgivable curse, causes most enemies to writhe in pain as they take damage over time. Also curses the victim. And cursed enemies take extra damage. Interesting. So that's pretty cool. Love it. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.